This is TNS Time and Space, and I would like to welcome you to episode 20 of Talk and Scroll. Before we begin, I would invite you to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell notification so you can be made aware of any time that I post new content. But anyway, now that the housekeeping is done, I would like to discuss the incident with Dave Chappelle, where apparently we had a Will Smith copycat. Maybe he was inspired by Will Smith, maybe he wasn't. However, it seems as though the fashionable, trendy new thing to do at comedy shows is to rush the comedian. So in this particular incident, Dave Chappelle was attacked at the Hollywood Bowl during his Netflix is a joke series, his uh, Netflix is a joke festival. But anyway, this gentleman, his name is Isaiah Lee. I had read about this previously. As you can see, here's this graphic of him rushing the stage and tackling Dave Chappelle. Fortunately, he was not injured. So that's a blessing. Can't say the same for Isaiah Lee. So anyway, as we scroll through, it says that um, the man that attacked Dave Chappelle at his show at Hollywood Bowl has his hands broken and dislocated. He got messed up. But honestly, he deserved it. I don't like to see people get hurt. I don't like to see anyone get injured. However, he made a poor decision and he paid the price for that. He certainly suffered some serious consequences. So I'm going to scroll through this uh, part of it. I'm going to scroll through this because I want to get to the comments and I want to just speak about the idea of rushing the stage to attack comedians. This is not the type of thing that we should want to deal with. I myself have done stand-up comedy. It's not something you should want to worry about. And there were some comments in particular that I wanted to talk about that. So this person, Kathy Griffin, actually said, now we have to worry about who wants to be the next Will Smith in comedy clubs and theaters. Obviously, anytime you have something happen on a large scale, on a large stage, and on the world's biggest platform, you have to worry about copycats. You have to worry about people who will be inspired for that in a negative way and who will rush the stage. That's not something you should want to deal with. But anyway, let me get to these comments. I'm just going to scroll down. So this person said, it's good, no harm came to Dave. Whether his attacker was influenced by Will Smith is not the issue. The issue is that Will Smith paid literally no penalty for his action because the Academy completely dropped the ball as it almost always does. Doubt anyone there still understands the gravity of its totally unacceptable inaction and the message it sent to people that attacking someone on stage is not that big a deal. So. That is true. It may seem unrelated. I know it may seem as though I'm bringing up Will Smith for no reason, but the issues are related because unfortunately you have people who assume that they have that same celebrity privilege, which by the way, you shouldn't have celebrity privilege, but that was obviously the case if Will Smith was able to commit assault on national television and be able to party afterwards as if it wasn't a problem. This particular gentleman was not so fortunate. Again, there shouldn't be a double standard, but there is, and he found out the hard way. But again, that wasn't something that was acceptable. Someone says, I attended a bar at a lot of comedy shows. Bottom line is, if a line offends you, stay home. If you don't want to be harassed, do not sit up front. Don't wear eye-catching -catch clothes if you want to remain anonymous. Do not heckle the comedian. If you do, you get whatever is coming your way. And don't forget to tip your waitress. So as far as if you do something, you get whatever is coming your way. That's how I feel about attacking the comedian on the stage, or if you, you know, invade their personal space for whatever reason, there's no justification for that. Again, you're paying to be entertained and that's that. So someone else brings up a good point. 
phones were confiscated, but guns and knives were allowed. I would hope that no one misses the fact that just because Dave Chappelle was unharmed, I hope that we don't miss the fact that this person was able to bring in a prop gun that, you know, had a knife attached to it. So that's a big deal. There definitely needs to be an examination of security protocols. And I would want that as a comedian or a performer, I would want to have those safeguards in place. You know, it's one thing to make sure that you can't record me with your cell phone, but it's another thing to make sure you can't potentially injure me with a knife or a gun, whether it's a prop gun, a real gun, whatever it is. So now we're going to scroll down. It says, so this is happening now. Free speech is literally under attack. Congratulations, stale prince. Free speech is under attack. And that's not just, you know, physically. That's not just in person. You could certainly say that online and that people are being shamed. They're being criticized. People get dragged in the comments, whatever it may be as far as cancel culture. Anyone who utilizes free speech in a way that people don't like, they are under attack in a way. So we have to be mindful of that. So I want to scroll down some more. And someone says, even someone as unfunny and lacking in humor as Dave Chappelle doesn't deserve to be blindsided and attacked like that. Seriously, he's not funny, I get it, but whatever happened to booing and heckling? So I'm not really gonna get into going back and forth about whether or not Dave Chappelle is funny. Most people would say that he's a comedic genius, but obviously if you don't enjoy his particular brand of humor, that's fine. But this person is correct that what happened to being able to boo or heckle? Why do we now believe that it's okay to charge the stage? You know, there's a such thing as boundaries. You know, the comedian is using words. So, not that you should really even heckle, but even if you wanna say that you wanna heckle, that's a verbal exchange. That's an exchange of words. As I talked about in my previous video, where the person attacked the elderly person or where the attacker attacked the elderly person, they responded to words with violence. So in this same instance, the attacker, they rushed the stage to tackle Dave Chappelle for whatever reason, whatever their motivation was, they responded to words with violence. So now someone said, so unfunny equals someone who disagrees with you. Chappelle is one of the funniest comics ever. I've never laughed so hard in my life as I did watching Chappelle's show. How delusional you must be. Again, that's a matter of opinion, but the key in this particular comment is the idea that someone disagrees with you, therefore they should be attacked or they should be criticized or even worse, you know, physically assaulted. So here we go. Funny, someone who mimics your beliefs and makes fun of people who don't look or live like you. Yeah, hilarious. Actually, that is the essence of comedy. So I don't know who this anonymous person is. And it's always funny whenever people use the anonymous handle, because that tells me they don't want to stand on what they have to say. So they want to be able to hide behind that. So yes, actually, a comedian does mimic your beliefs, funny enough. So they do make fun of people because comedians observe. That is actually the essence of comedy, the ability to make observations, to make witty observations. So yes, actually, that is comedy. That is hilarious. But that's that person's opinion if they don't find that funny. So I wanted to scroll down to find a particular comment. So it says he's literally the most successful comic of all time, sells out stadiums and makes like 50 million a year. What plan that are you living on? And then this person says, never confuse popularity with talent. They are not the same thing. Again, that's a matter of opinion, but no one deserves to be treated that way. No comedian deserves to be treated that way. They should be able to come on stage and entertain the crowd or even fail to entertain the crowd. Even if the comedian's not funny, they don't deserve to be attacked. So this person says, popularity merely indicates he panders to the lowest common denominator. Oh, I guess that means you. So whenever I see comments like that, that's the definition of a hater to me. Because if it were that simple to be popular, then why are there not more popular people? If all you have to do is pander to the lowest common denominator, you know, they make it sound easy, but obviously it's not, or else there would be more Dave Chappelle's. So now I'm going to scroll down some more. Let's see, I wanted to find 
this particular comment, but let's read this in the meantime. Do none of you live in LA? The Hollywood Bowl is an outdoor arena surrounded by a fence. They have metal detectors at the gate, so I would bet when it all comes out, this guy is some homeless nut job that just hopped the fence and snuck in from the back. Should have held this event somewhere easier to secure. That would definitely explain a lot because my first question was, how did this person bring a weapon into the vicinity of this event? You know, how did that happen? How were they able to bypass security? They need to take a look at those measures. So then someone said, the true meaning of privilege is Will Smith assaulting someone on stage and partying afterwards. And the opposite of that is a random person who charges the stage and ends up getting beat up. And honestly, I can say they had it coming. That's what happened. They had it coming. They deserved it. So now I'm going to scroll down some more. It's one particular comment. Okay, somebody said, I would be curious to see the legal basis for a private enterprise seizing mobiles or any other legally possessed private property of a citizen. As someone goes on to explain, you're not seizing the mobile phone. They're not taking it away from you. You still have the phone. They just ask you to lock it away. So it's still in your possession. And then they unlock it when you leave. So that's an important distinction that we need to make as far as the policy of locking up phones. They don't take your phone. You have it with you in that pouch, as this person goes on to say. So someone says, you know, it's up to you, give up the phone or don't attend the show. Tired of seeing a million phones in the air at every event anyway. Yeah, so I get it, that makes sense. Obviously they're giving you the option, but again, they don't take it away. So now we're gonna scroll down some more. Again, I really want to, find it. So it says, just another person trying to get their 15 minutes of fame. Glad he had some non-threatening injuries. Maybe he'll get that violence has consequences. Exactly. That was not smart. It was not a good idea to rush the stage. So let's go ahead and scroll down some more. But as I'm scrolling, I just want to say, too, that comedians need to have the right to be able to express themselves. And we have to be careful out here because people are going to become emboldened when they see a Will Smith and Chris Rock situation. They're going to believe, whether rightly or wrongly, they'll be delusional and think that they might be able to escape con consequences also. So. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Okay, yeah, it says, the guy has a song that says he's going to stab Dave Chappelle on stage at the Hollywood Bowl for being a lib. Yes, people did bring up the attacker's political leanings. I don't think that's really important. I don't think that you can blame the actions of one deranged individual who's probably a little bit off. I don't know that you can blame that on a political leaning. You know, that would be oversimplifying it, so. As we go down further, okay, here it is. Here's the comment I was looking for. Sometimes these roasters go too far thinking they have all the liberties just because they are funny and getting paid. I think that needs to be addressed as well. This isn't only about Will overreacting while defending his wife's attack. So actually the roasters, quote unquote, or the comedians do have all the liberties because people are paying to see them. If you pay to see a comedian, then you are giving them the liberty of making an attempt to entertain you. So in saying that, they have the right to utilize free speech. It is a performance, just like you have the liberty to get up and leave. You have the liberty to not patronize them. But if you are paying to attend the show, the comedian is going to have an open platform. That's the whole point of it. They are going to have those liberties. So yes, roasters actually do have the liberties of roasting you. Imagine that at a comedy show. So this person said, address it how. You social justice, I'm sorry, let me start over. Address it how. You social justice progressives are nothing more than authoritarians and tyrants at heart. Solution to speech you don't like equals ignore it. Exactly, I can agree with that. So as far as trying to regulate free speech just because you disagree with it, or actually not even try to regulate, to try to limit, eliminate it, or even limit it or constrict it in any way, that's ridiculous. And as this person says, agree, Will Smith normalized this behavior, charges should have been pressed at the time. 
yes, you could argue with that. But actually, Chris Rock didn't want to press charges. So we do have to take that into consideration. I just wanted to speak about this because as a creative, I definitely don't want to be attacked for creating, whether I'm doing comedy, whether I'm doing music, whether I'm doing poetry, whatever it may be. Nobody wants to have to deal with that. It is art. You should have the right to be able to present your art without the threat of violence because people have the right to leave. You're talking about whether or not the roaster or the comedian should be able to say certain things or whether they have the liberties to talk about people. Yes, they do. Just like you have the liberty to get up and leave and not patronize them. But anyway, I just wanted to speak about that. This has been another episode of Talk and Scroll. Talk and Scroll. Talk and Scroll. Talk, talk, and scroll. Talk, talk, and scroll. Talk, talk, and scroll.